So, um, one thing I'd like to say before I start this is happy birthday to my Harley Davidson. This is pack number 12 and this marks the halfway stage. Um, well, it's one year since I started, but at the end of this, this pack, we will be halfway through. Um, there's a total of, I believe, 77 stages and this will take us to stage... 39 so in actual fact in terms of stages we'll be over halfway but in terms of time we'll be halfway so the parts that we get this week i'm happy to say although we're not using any parts from previous issues we are going to be using all of the parts in this this that we get this issue oh some screws um so uh the first part that we get I'm going to use a knife this time. I was struggling last time when I, I ripped it by hand. Um, let me just move my camera. I've got a habit of um, working underneath a microphone, which is a bad habit. It's a new microphone. I'm still getting used to it, um, but I'll get there. So we have got a headlight, which contains a bulb. And that's quite loose. I'm sure that that will uh, fix itself when we fit when we fit it. And, we, and that's got a connector. Normally I like to test things. Um, but I'm not in a position to. I don't think I've got anything to fit that. Um, so I'm going to trust the build. Um, a lot of this we won't know until we plug it in. Which is a bit of a problem. Um, but we, we'll get around it. We'll get around it. That's fine. Obviously if it all goes wrong once I, I connect it. Then I'll just have to take it all apart. So this is the uh, the reflector, so I'm guessing that's going to go into there, which is why the bulb is loose. Um, and then we've got a lens ring. So these are all plastic, by the way, all of these parts so far. Right, that's actually the lens. So I've done that wrong. It's quite hard to see when they're in the bags. So this is the lens ring and you also get, well it says you get an, an N-type screw. Um, but what I've noticed as I've put all the screws away, you get all kinds of screws. Now I'll show you this and I think we're going to have to be careful. You can see that there's quite a lot of screws in there. Almost all of those are filled, have got at least one screw in. D hasn't, J hasn't, Q, S and O, L. They're the only ones, but um, there is a lot of screws in there. Um, so I'm wondering, you know, they wouldn't just give us screws just for the sake of giving us screws. So I think what they're going to be doing is at some point they are going to be asking us to use these screws. Um, so I've actually taken a lot of time off camera sorting these out and putting them into the correct boxes. They're actually not too bad to sort. Um, if I can find my calipers. If you, let's take this one for example, all you need to do is measure the length of this, and this isn't 100% accurate, but it says 4.8, so that's obviously a 5mm screw. So what we then do is we look for all of the 5s, so that's a 7.5, that's a 4, that's a 5, right. So it could be a C. So then we compare it against the C. And actually this one's got a little notch in it. Um, so that makes the job a lot easier. So I'll actually use my existing screws to do the comparison. Because they're easier to see. And these do not have notches in so we know it's not C. So we carry on looking. Uh, five, five, looking for anything that's got five mil. So end screw. So we might already have an end screw. We have one N. So if that's got a notch in, that's our winner. That's got a notch in. So we now know that that's an N. So I wonder if that's how, why they've been doing it like that. So then we've got this one. This has got a top hat. I call them a top hat. I think they call flange screws. Um, and I can see that this is 
five mil and that's a force I'm looking there we go it's a W screw so I've already got a W screw so we'll do a comparison and I don't think they're the same well they are the same so that's fine that's my W's so this one's got uh, an Allen uh, not an Allen key a spanner um, a spanner fitting so what did it say we've got we've got an end screw oh yeah we did actually ha have an end then didn't we so that is uh, 10 mil so there we go it's a V screw V yeah V screw and I've already got some of those so that gets added to the pile and I suspect this is an F because there seems to be an awful lot of F's that they're giving us I have got additional screws because I got that's a 10 mil um, I've got I did get pack one twice um, it's actually a U screw so we've already got some U's so I can do a comparison there yeah I actually bought pack one twice because at the time I, I started the build paid full price for pack one and then uh, then they had an offer of five pounds off every pack and it worked out cheap for me to cancel the build and start again uh, I think actually pack one was ten pounds so that's the parts I'm happy with all of those I've got the screw the screws been put away so we'll carry on with the build okay so this is looking like a really simple build in fact it's probably gonna be quicker to build it than it will be to describe it so we've got the uh, reflector oh we pop the reflector into the uh, there we go and we do make sure that we put the LED through the middle and then you see there's two lugs there and there's there's a, a hole two pegs there so we just need to simultaneously it's a little bit tricky because once you've got the LED in you can't really see the pegs that well so that is stiff so I'll just take that out and I'm just going to rotate that in case there's a correct a right and a wrong way they do look absolutely identical we had one uh, last last pack where the lugs were actually different sizes which made it very convenient actually once you knew that trick right there you go that's gone in perfect so next we want to put the lens cover the lens ring on and that looks like it's yeah look we've got two little lugs just on the side we've got holes there I did notice those holes and right, I've done that wrong I need to put the actual lens in first so that's going to go in like that okay now that has locked in place but I can't figure out how I think if it's not in right you can you can rotate it and then it just kind of finds its place so I'm going to keep rotating this it did lock a minute ago it doesn't seem to be locking now okay so why is that not locking so it's going to be a little bit tricky here because it doesn't say anything about lining up a certain way but obviously what I want to do is get these lines so that they're straight up and down so I'm going to hold it like that and it actually looks like it goes that way so there's the lugs there and that looks about as straight as I'm going to get it so I'll bring this onto the ring and that goes in like so easy peasy and that is it um, turn the lens until it is secure there we go that is secure so it's got a little twist mechanism on it so we'll hold that up I think that's about as straight as I'm gonna get it so I'm happy with that okay okay so for this stage it looks impressive 
Um, and we've seen one of these before, haven't we? We've seen the left side. Um, however, we're not going to need this. It does also come with some screws and a cover. So what I'll try and do is locate that. Um, there should be some in there somewhere. Do you know what? I can't find them. It's not them, is it? Okay, I may actually have to undo the packet then. So let's carefully undo this because I want to take the screws out because I don't know when I'll need them. I might need them before the fork, uh, before the frame. Okay. Well, that's interesting because there are no screws and no small cover. Do you know what? I'm ever so sorry. I just remembered I have already taken the screws out. There we go. Um, I actually did it pre-stream when I did this last week. Um, so there should be a small nick in the bag. There we are. Small nick in the bag. So, right, so I'm not going to concern... Well, I might as well have a look at it now. So there's a nice little reflector on the side there. Um, so I'll show you the small cover then as it's already out. Um, but I'm going to pop this away and I'm going to keep it like that because it's obviously got the label on it. So the small cover I actually put away in my screw pot holder. Um, and there's actually two pieces in there now. We got this from a previous, um, this is from something else. And as you see, it's magnetic. But this is the small cover that we got with this issue. Look at that. But I couldn't do that if I tried. Um, so it's just a small little piece of plastic. So that's the parts then for this for this episode uh, for this issue. So this is stage 38 titled the right fork and the parts that we will need are the uh, front forks obviously. Uh, we need the springs and a cover from stage 10. You see there I've labelled that stage 10, or issue 10. And we need this part from uh, stage 36. So what we're going to do is we first of all we need some springs. So it's quite nice because we are starting to use all the parts that we've collected. We're, I felt I th was it the last um, issue. I think we actually still, although we built quite a bit, we did actually um, collect more than we, we use. But this, we're starting to use up some of the parts. So what we want to do, I'm going to get this out as well, because I can see that we're going to use this in step two. So we might as well get it ready so that we can go straight into it. And this is another double bagged. And on, this has also got a circuit board, I remember that now. Um, we weren't going to look at it because we want to keep the parts safe. But there was a circuit board in there which we couldn't look at. So um, we get a chance to look at it now. So I do like this nice thick bags. These aren't your... These aren't your little Tesco value bags. These are really good quality. So there is a circuit board with two wires. Ah, that's the main the main hub by the looks of it. This is where everything's going to plug in together. However, we're not concerning ourselves with that today. So what we want to do is we want to get these springs. Um, I don't think it matters which way round they go. Um, but they go over there like that on the end of the forks. Then we're going to put the headlight mount on. So we need to gently press the forks. Ah, there we go. So these are, ah, right, okay. So there's a hole in here. You see that there's a channel there. And then there's a little stopper there. So we, it will naturally go down to there, but we want to actually get that in further so that this actually covers up the top. We need this top bit covered so you won't be able to see the springs. We'll feel the benefit of them, but we won't we won't actually see them. So look at that suspension on the front. How good is that? So the next thing we want are these covers. And we want uh, FP screws. So let's get two FP screws at the ready. One, two. 
so much easier when your screws are sorted. So we need to pop this somewhere. Okay, I need to just think about this for a moment. There's no screw holes on there. So that begs the question, have I got yeah, I've got actually got them the wrong way round. Can you believe that? So that's how you know which way round you've got them. You see now I've got two screw screw holes exposed. If you don't see the screw holes, you need to question whether or not you've got that the right way round. So I'm going to pop this cover on and there's a whoop, there's a little lug in there. So that's going to go down the channel. And as you can see, the screw holes both sides. Why they've got two screw holes? I guess so that they can make the same part and duplicate it. Obviously, if you put it on one side, it goes that way round. If you put it on the other side, it's going to go that way. So that looks fine. Fact. So we need to just push that down so that that screw hole becomes exposed. If you see it at rest, you can't see the screw hole. But if you just push it down a little bit. That screw hole then becomes you could I guess use a clamp just to hold this suspension down um, I will I will muck on see if I can manage without yeah I can so what I've done there I've put my thumb under the mud guard I've put my middle finger on the top there and I've just rested and I can just push that down so, or you can pop it on the table. Why didn't I think of that one? So we'll just screw this in. I don't want to, I want to go tight, but I don't want to go really, really tight because that's, a, although I'm screwing it into metal and I want that to stay, it's screwing in a plastic part. And I don't want to crack that plastic part. So we'll just do the other side. Make sure that's on correct. That's quite a tight fit. And again, we'll just screw this in until it goes fairly tight, but not too tight because we don't want to crack the plastic. There we go. So there we have. So I guess the, the, the light's going to go on there. Like I'm cheating here, but I think that's going to go something like that. So it's starting to build up now, isn't it? So there you go, that's stage uh, 38 complete. Okay, so we received just a single part this, uh, this stage, uh, stage 39, and this is a display stand. Now I have seen some videos, and this is actually very useful for um, putting the bike on while we work on it. Um, but I say that will be the you can buy a display stand I think to be honest with you I will probably just go for this I'm not going to remove it from the package until I know we're going to use it there's only one item in there so I'll say I'll leave that packaged up so uh, stage 39 and we're going to need the following we need the circuit board from stage 39, which uh, 36, sorry, which came, I think, was the last pack. We need uh, the headlight, which we've been working on in this video. And we also need the headlight, which we have been working on in this video. So um, first thing we want to do is we want to pop this headlight on. I'm just going to move my camera up a little bit. Just give me a little bit more space to work. And the way we're going to do that is it looks like this large hole the actual wire and stem is going to go through and then we're going to screw that in there through that hole there so we're going to thread that through there like so and then this is a good opportunity to check your lens um are you happy with that that's possibly slightly off but i'm not really going to worry about that too much so what we want to do now is turn it round, and we're going to fix that with an end screw. Perhaps I should have got the screw ready before I uh, before I put the headlight on. It's not a problem. 
so we have one end screw I believe these are the ones with a little notch on them I don't know are they meant to cut into something or yeah I don't know why there's a notch on there I don't know what it's for um, I don't know so right so one end screw and I must admit this is now becoming such a pleasurable build now that we're actually producing something and it's not a difficult build except when you can't get your screw on the uh, screwdriver you need to balance that on the screwdriver long enough to hold this in place and I'm actually holding it in like this and then we'll just put that into there and I'm just gonna go until it stops although the frame is metal the headlight is plastic and that's fixed on firmly so there's absolutely no need to go any further so the next thing we need to do is um, okay I need to just focus on this here is the front of the bike with a headline light mounted on them in its mount on the top fork take the circuit board so that's this and push the connector from the headlight wire into the socket at the center of the plate well that must be I think I've got the wrong connector so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video um, if you look this has only got the one the one bit on so this is totally different so I think I've made a bit of a mistake um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this back into a bag and uh, then I'm going to find the correct connector okay so I've double checked the packaging um, now it says there from stage 36 and then when I get the magazine this is why I like to keep my magazines stage 36 we actually receive the headlight mount which we've now fitted there and some screws and the plastic cap and um, the circuit board so now it doesn't actually look the same however I notice that there's four plugs on there and there's only three on there so but there's two ribbon cables there but I had a little close look as well I don't know if you can read it but just there printed on the circuit board it says JP1 and you see on this one there's only one plug um, so I wonder if there's meant to be two on the other side um, so but on this it says JP1 so I am a little bit concerned and but I am going to go through with it um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to contact model space I don't like this it's <laughs> I think I've put this in upside down so I'm going to contact model space tomorrow and I, I will tell them it you know this is what's happened um, but I can't remember where this goes I have seen the, the PDF for it um, but at the moment we'll keep it like that um, and it says be careful not to tangle the cable so what I think I'll do is I will just wrap those around like that like so as I say I will give um, I will give model space a call tomorrow um, and then obviously any updates will appear in the next video